everyone welcome back to cooking with Donna today we are making up some more cookies these were requested they're the chocolate chip um, treasure cookies they're like the the uh, magic bars I don't remember who put those out if it was the the milk the condensed milk or the the chips I'm not sure but they're a cookie form and they're really good and I'm gonna make some up so whoever hasn't tried them if you want to follow along, let's go ahead and get them going. Okay, here are my bowl. And you guys, if you see my arms all scratched up, don't mind them. I got a new puppy, as I stated, and um, she's really doing some damage to my arms, the poor thing. I clipped her nails, but she's... You know how that goes. They jump all over you. And I wanted to bring up, guys, I'm almost at... 10,000 subscribers and those of you who have not seen uh, my other video I did announce that I'm going to be giving away a beautiful kitchen knife set so all you have to do is get subscribed hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for further notices when I upload and you subscribe you're automatically in the drawing for that knife set so it'll be more than likely next Wednesday when we hit that, I hit the 10,000 and we'll be giving that knife set away. It's a beautiful kitchen knife set. So subscribe, get in that drawing. Okay. Now here I have uh, a stick of butter, which is um, one half cup. Okay. And I have one 14 ounce can of condensed sweetened milk. You want the condensed, is that too far? Can you guys see that? I'm using a different camera. Condensed sweet milk. It's a 14 ounce can. And you want to get all of that yummy goodness in there. And what we're going to do is just get this all mixed up. And we'll be back. All right, guys, make sure your butter is room temperature because you want that all to smooth out with your, your um, condensed milk there. Go ahead and get your oven preheated to 375, which I'm going to do here because I forgot to get mine done or started preheating. Okay, 375. All right. Now we've got our butter and our, our, our can of milk. Now make sure it's condensed milk. Condensed is sweet milk. You don't want evaporated. It has to be condensed. A lot of people will confuse that. Condensed milk. All right, I need another spoon. Okay. Now in the bowl here, I have a one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. Can y'all see that? Some crumbs. And I have a half a cup of all-purpose flour. Now I just put my, a lot of times you can find these crumbs in a box, they sell them. But I just bought a box and I put them in a big Ziploc bag and smashed them and rolled them with my rolling pin. Or by all means, you want to crank out your processor or your, your blender, put them in there and get them all crushed up real good. But I just rolled them out. Good exercise. I need arm exercise. And... I have two teaspoons of baking powder. That's two teaspoons. These are really good cookies, you guys. We like them. Okay. Let's stir this all up together real good. And no, there's no eggs. There's no sugar because our sugar is our condensed sweet milk so we won't be needing any so we're just going to mix this up really good and i'm going to try to get a few videos a week in i may to try to get caught up here i'm a little behind on requests so i'm going to try to do a few videos a week if i you know you guys if you got the hit that bell you'll have that notification but um, to here, I'm going to add this to our sweet milk and butter. Okay. 
All right. Just kind of stir this up a little bit. Can you guys see that pretty good? Let me move that in closer. Whoop, making a mess, Donna. Gooey goodness, gooey goodness. These are good texture. They got a nice chew to them. Okay, and over here I'm going to add in one and one-third cups of coconut. That's one and one-third cups. And I have one cup of chopped walnuts. And I have, I'm going to put in two cups of semi sweet chocolate chips, which is usually the, what is that, 12 ounce bag. And we're going to get this mixed up. All right, I got it all mixed up. Now, if, if your dough seems to be like really sticky, just stick it in the freezer for maybe 10 minutes. But no longer because you don't want this dough real cold because then you're going to have to adjust your cooking time. Okay? So, mine came out perfect. I didn't have to chill it. So, I got me a tablespoon cookie scoop or use yourself a regular tablespoon, measuring tablespoon to get even portions. And I'm just going to scoop these out, get them on my parchment lined um, cookie sheet here and get them baked up between nine to ten minutes should do it ovens vary please keep an eye on them our ovens are all different some cook hot some cook not so hot so you may have to adjust your cooking time but the cookies should be a light brown you don't want to over bake them because then they're going to get hard on you so nine to ten minutes tops should do it okay i'm going to get these in my preheated oven Okay, guys, there's the cookies. They're nice and chewy and soft, and just don't overbake them. Um, they're gonna, in the picture, they look a little bit more tan colored, brown, but they're actually more white looking, so they're not gonna brown a lot for you. So, you're not looking for a real brown cookie. If you get them brown, you've probably cooked them too long. So, don't over brown them. My first batch took nine minutes, my second batch took eight minutes. And I did pierce them a little because I had some extra chips. I pierced them with some um, more chips because we love chocolate. But you don't have to. But if you have, or you could put three quarter cups of, uh, one and three quarter cups of chips in your cookies. And you could use the other quarter cup to, you know, put a few on them when they come out. Just pierce them there. And, um, but like I said, don't over bake them. Uh, like, and, and if I miss anything... Like I say, I always pin it in the comments, so go ahead and give those cookies a try, you guys. I'm trying to think here if there's something else I wanted to tell y'all before I close out here. Um, they baked eight and nine minutes. That's about it. Just don't overbake them and give them a try. Until next time, we will see you guys later. Take care and God bless. Enjoy the cookies. <laughs>